Okay, welcome to episode 10 of Ghost Runner. You're going to see me see I'm here for a little bit longer, I'm guess I'm <laughs> Oh, you didn't die from skill issue. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All part, it's all part of the plan. It's just, uh -huh. <laughs> we're, just, we're just padding the playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, oh yes. Like padding to get that YouTube monetization. Oh, so that's why players... Uh -huh. play. <laughs> that's why That's why uh, gamers leave in their grind sessions. Ah, I get it. <laughs> They're also Very grinding nice. for cash. <laughs> 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 That's why you leave in the toilet break in the middle of the episode. <laughs> uh, oh wait, you know the power up uh, right there? Uh, yeah. I never grab it until the end after I get past this because I didn't realize it was there. Oh. <laughs> Oops. It would have been very helpful because I think it's either slow down time or shurikens. Either one would have been just a game changer here. Yeah, this yeah. seems. <laughs> It seems like a you thing here than uh, anything else. Uh, yeah, it's very much. I mean, remember, I'm recording this like fucking late at night, haven't slept. Did you do this entire game in one go? Two, two playthroughs. Two, two goes. Okay. Yeah, two goes. <laughs> <laughs> because um, after the first boss fight, I take a break. Yeah, that, that, that's a pretty oh, good stop. Yeah, point. yeah, that that <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> I thought you just flipped him off. <laughs> I do like yeah, it. I was <laughs> gonna say yeah. <laughs> that's like one or two fingers away from being the middle one. <laughs> I do like how it just looks like you're flipping them off. <laughs> it's like fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. And then they get mad and take it out on their on their uh, on their allies. <laughs> oh, oh, is that how that works? <laughs> uh, no, that's funny. Yeah, after the first boss fight, you know. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't blame you for that. Oh, shuriken! There you go. Yeah, but, uh, well, shuriken. Like, I can yeah. see why shurikens are. Oh, again, the most broken ability we have. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <Nice. laughs> no, here's the thing, even against them, they're fucking OP because it's ranged. You're right, yeah, I know. But <laughs> that range right there was a... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I realized. But yeah, no, I don't blame you for like a like a ending recording session after that. A rather yeah. bullshit part. Um, I think I remember... Uh, no, I think I ended a session before a very bullshit part during the Skyward Sword playthrough. I think it was that damn escort mission. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I knew exactly what was ahead, so I didn't want to do that right then and there, so I waited. <laughs> yeah. I was... I mean, we, we all have seen it. We all know... What the fuck happened? Even now, thinking back on it, pain. <laughs> pain. Nothing. Nothing but pain. <laughs> Why are we still and, here? Why are we still oh, here? It's just like the first fucking phase of the fight. Also, the last enemy we'll encounter in the game. Ah, so this is the last enemy variant. Oh, yeah. teleporting. Teleporting and shoots sword lasers. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> uh, it's... Ah! <laughs> uh. To insert the Kirby falling meme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what Ethan would do, just put the I am gay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I didn't do that again. <laughs> I feel like you can tell I'm probably really fucking sleep deprived at this point, but how much I'm fucking up compared to like every other episode? Yeah, yeah, it's it's a little kind of iffy. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, you're just. Oh, uh, I guess I'm gonna deflect the laser there. Fail to grab the ledge. That, oh, I, okay, I grabbed it. <laughs> uh, again, deflect here. Fucking. <laughs> so you fall asleep in the middle of your recording, so you're just, your footage just stands still for a really exactly. long time. 
or be the guy who fell asleep uh, during his Majora's Mask live stream on the final day <laughs> of uh, the moon crashing. He's <laughs> 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 like, bro, wake up. The moon's going to crash. What are you doing? <laughs> and I kill all of them but this one because I fucking died like a bitch. Okay. I, th I had <laughs> so many deaths here that I just cut out. So many. Well, it's, I don't it's, know, it's, but... Uh, yeah. Maybe it's just me if just looking at it from a distance. Could you get away with just staying on the zip line no the one? entire time and just deflecting the lasers like that? No, you cannot deflect those lasers. I really oh, those that. those lasers you cannot. No. Oh, because it looks like a like a uh, blade wave or. Whatever. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like yeah, it's like a blade slash. Ah, uh, okay. Never mind then. I would have thought. But I guess not. I mean, if, if that was the case, I could have fucking deflected the second boss's uh, wave shit. Oh, could you have? I didn't notice, because uh, she died in like two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't take an entire episode to get through that boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's gonna be the new caliber we judge boss fights with. <laughs> That is that is one of the most badly designed boss fights I've ever seen. I'm sorry. <laughs> As if a boss fight is going to be considered the most terrible boss fight we've seen so far, this guy had to beat that. <laughs> that first boss fight. I can't think of like a another poorly designed boss fight off the top of my head. There, there probably are, but any as bad as that one? That's the question. Oh yeah, that that that's the thing. I think the one that comes closest actually was the um, the Zavik boss fight from Lost World, um, just because. Oh your, yeah, that, yeah. I, I don't like that one. <laughs> yeah, because uh, your gameplay showed it off, and uh, just I didn't realize how badly designed it was until Carlos played the game. <laughs> so if you remember the uh, the second Zavik boss fight in World Six, where you're on the dragon, then he oh, yeah. punches the uh, pieces off uh, periodically. Um, <laughs> at that final stage when you're supposed to kick him off the dragon like you only have so many opportunities to actually kick him enough distance but the thing is when he does that lunge attack towards you he goes to your last position instead of the edge of the dragon which means um, theoretically you could just never have him get to the ledge of the dragon at all until you actually realize he goes to your last position um and not have enough distance to actually kick him off the thing. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that that comes close. <laughs> that comes close, but not even then, it's not as bad. No. <laughs> because no, that's cause you, a lot easier to... Because um... you don't die in one hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And here's the thing. What that requires of you is just like eventually hitting him off, which with at least a static boss fight, you can get like a few lucky hits in and be done with it. Yeah, sure. But with this one, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you see the lasers and you're like, okay, what am I supposed to do? The, the, yeah, 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 the, yeah that, that one requires like actual skill. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> you look up and you just like start sweating. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's that um the the Willem Dafoe looking up face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they, that, that's a pretty accurate representation <laughs> of that boss. <laughs> yeah. But the second boss fight, like even leading up to that part, like you do not feel that bad. Like yes, it's awful at the end, but. It's not the worst. It's nothing that you, you cannot be lucky to get past. With this one, you don't just need luck. You need so much more. <laughs> I uh, saved, by the way. <laughs> also, look at all those things. Bye. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I see the radar is just fucking just filled with dots in the corner. Are you, are you actively avoiding all of that? Oh, yeah. I see the I, I see what you're doing here. Okay. Jeez, there's like twelve of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, thank you. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> nice. Okay, I really like that. 
Oh, the shuriken's over here. Okay, that's cool. Now they're all dead. Nice. Uh, the reason they wanted to give the shuriken is actually because... Oh, because they're on the walls as, as you're, you're going over there too. Yeah. Some secrets are very much more um, obvious than others that I just missed my first playthrough. <laughs> it looks like it, yeah. yeah. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I want to jump on them, man. I just don't... Here's the thing, I both need to jump on them because uh, there's no other way yeah, for that, me to... Yeah, that's the only way to actually kill them. And to get no. distance, apparently. Uh, yeah, I was gonna oh, say, okay, I can okay. kill them with the lasers. Uh, oh, that's back. right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, how will I get to the other half? Right, okay, I see now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it's you not how I can dodge their lasers, but... <laughs> when you I accidentally can't... kill an enemy and off-screening the position doesn't reset them? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what have I done? Yeah, I panicked there. Also, you guys see me here, like, struggle for no reason. Oh my god. How the hell? I... I... Looking back, I, was, I can see a way to get past it. I see oh. what you're supposed to do. What are you supposed to do, then? You can easily run the walls and get the shuriken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see the shuriken, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Carlos. You're so, you're so sleepy. <laughs> it, it, it's, I... it's a challenge run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, that might be a thing. Oh god, I, that might actually be what's going on here. There might be a piece of me that just like, you know what, I'm gonna use less power up to just make it harder on myself. <laughs> that might actually be one of the reasons I don't grab the power ups. <laughs> Thinking back on it. Challenge run, most deaths. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how but, many deaths I can get. That is something I will have done. Just, let's just not be smart. The run? <laughs> The next, the next challenge is to uh, get a um, uh, 69 420 deaths in a single mission. There's a secret over there, I'm like, would my dash make it? And, well, I ran out of time. It does. Oh, yeah, you just gotta be better at that. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. These walls were built for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the more I look at the level design of this game, um, and still comparing it to Mirror's Edge, um, like the level design here is very much more action oriented and uh, the walls and the zip lines are all uh it looks like it was very much designed to be a level <laughs> you know what i mean all of them as, uh sword ninjas oh well as opposed to a mirror's edge level design which was very very basic um city uh level design like it, it was more going for that realism thing there instead of what's going on here where <laughs> the only person to ever use these zip lines are you <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah but imagine just like a normal dude just like living in this area <laughs> <laughs> i mean at this point i think we're way up high where uh it's more machinery than so have we been climbing up the city yeah. this entire game yes ah because okay. i think I don't know if it's the lower levels or the upper levels, but some part of the levels, it's just like, so people can survive. Hmm. <laughs> you have beheaded. Now I am beheaded. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to kill them all as fast as possible. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, as easy as possible. Good job. That also that probably does help that this game is uh what's it called? Just so focused on you being a ninja. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, for because uh, yeah, the level design is more action oriented than Mirror's Edge will ever be. Um, because yeah, it very like Ninja is supposed to be swift and very uh, fast paced. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they encourage the level design around it to be as such. Whereas again, in Mirror's Edge's case, it wasn't trying to do that. It was just very basic city structure. Like I guess there's some merit in the uh, the coolness of that. You're just doing parkour in the generic city. I mean, that's nice. Air ducts are cool and all that. Um, cl climbing up the uh, I don't know what they're called, but like when there's a skyscraper being constructed, they usually have like a whole bunch of like. Uh, Rail Scaffold? scaffolding, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you do that a lot in Mirror's Edge, so there's some uh, like a nice appeal in that as well. But it is just very basic level design as compared to what's going on here. <laughs> not, I mean, not saying you, not saying it's the detriment of Mirror's Edge because there are a lot of other detriments that game has, but it's just the difference in how they present their parkour platform. Oh fuck! Oh, I forgot about this enemy very fuck. Probably because it only shows up for the last two levels. Ah, uh, yes. The Sonic Frontiers way, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I die here because I'm stupid. Oh no! Uh, also, uh, for so you see me a bit confused. I actually, for some reason, since I completed all, uh, killing all the enemies, I spawned in the next area. Oh! <laughs> I was actually gonna ask at some point, I don't know if I got, like, asked the right, but, like, what happens if you finish out an area, but you die when you're trying to get to the door? <laughs> oh, you just found out. Okay, that's... <laughs> that's funny, actually. <laughs> I... I didn't know that was a thing until then, because, uh, you know, I haven't died trying to get to the door like that. Because usually when you kill all the enemies, uh, lo and behold, the door is right there. Yeah, usually, yeah. yeah. But that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I can also see how that could get kind of disorientating, too, because if you're not expecting you could just be like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Where am I? <laughs> I mean, that's what happened. <laughs> if, you, if you looked at what I was doing, I literally looked around like, what the fuck, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> you died again. Spawn here. Oh, where is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that could probably be part of the speedrun strategy, actually. Like, just, oh, like, maybe. Like, 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 kill yourself oh, that, intentionally to get to the next room faster. I mean, that would be a lot faster in some cases. Yeah. <laughs> in some cases, not all of them. Yeah, not all of them, because it, um, like the you said, right the, door, the door is usually right there, and just, just not all the time that I can see from here, but usually the enemy encounters are in a puzzle-like fashion. You have to kill them in a certain way. Um, that, again, doesn't hold true for all the encounters, but um, uh, like there, there's, a spe there's a very specified encouraged way of killing the things, and that's why the door is usually right there when you kill the last enemy in the room. I took over his head. <laughs> but if say like um like say if that shuriken were uh, a little more permanent and you could just kill everything from distance like right here and then kill yourself to get the next area. <laughs> that, <laughs> the shurikens are broken little did you know <laughs> <laughs> Yeah what a thought <laughs> I don't know, I never realized this, but now looking back at some of the footage, you can tell which ones are real and which are not if you're going to slow motion. Because real? the fake ones. Yeah, oh, is that is that the gimmick with this enemy? 
Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I noticed that. Yeah, there's like there's like a leader enemy, and if you kill them, it gets rid of all of them. Oh, interesting. Uh, the other ones, so the fake ones, so what's called? Uh, they're hologram snacks or something like that. So they distort in your uh, slow down view. Oh, okay. They only distort like heavily, just slightly. So they can. Yeah, I actually like that the slow-mo uh, feature, being intentional or not, is <laughs> it's not just a slow-mo for yourself, it's uh, also like a uh, detective vision from uh, the Batman Arkham games. <laughs> I mean, I think that they added them to slow-mo vision like, uh, like the way they did, I think you would think it's intentional. Eh, maybe. Uh, like, well, what do you mean? Oh, well, like, I don't know if it was intentional or not, because, like, the, uh, the, you know, the core purpose of the slow-mo is to better adjustment for your platforming, right? Yeah. Um, but it also, like, makes the screen, uh, filter blue. <laughs> um, well, here's the thing, though. Uh, not only is it filter blue, but it's, like, you know, detective vision and stuff. Mm -hmm. That I feel like they, they would have to add. It's not like something that would happen, it would just filter blue. Like, like, if it was just, like, filtering blue, it wouldn't let you see through walls, see what enemies are behind walls. No, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh... But I, I, okay, so then, I guess it's just, uh, they put a little more detailing into the thing than you would expect, I guess. Because yeah. I wouldn't have expected, oh, you can actually see the silhouettes of enemies when you go into your, uh, platform and correction vision. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in all fairness, it just also is used ah! to... <laughs> I guess it kind of makes it more similar to the... Um, or, or I guess I guess to an extent to the... Um, I don't know what it's called, but whatever that, like, uh, vision you get in Assassin's Creed games. Eagle vision? Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay, here's the thing. Because they, 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 that lets you see, like, enemies and, like, in other people, like, through terrain and stuff. Yeah. So, here's the thing with uh, this vision. This vision can be used both for... Uh, defensive and offensive purpose, um, mostly because yeah. like, uh, when you're playing, the, um, when you're playing, not only does this let you, uh, yeah, dodge bullets, like, and when you're fighting. So, like, if I wasn't just reflecting everything, you would see me use this a lot more combat, dodge the projectiles. I see. Because that's its second purpose, so for you to just dodge a projectile. Yeah. Okay. So it's used for a lot more things than a platform correction. Yeah. So that's neat. I actually like that. That's fun.